And as Ian Ketani now files, security has been beefed up around KICC with murder roads within the central business district set to be closed until the end of the summit, which is expected to be graced by at least 24 heads of state. Just a day to the inaugural Africa Climate Summit, preparations were in top gear at the Kenyatta International Convention Center as Kenya is to play host to thousands of dignitaries from across the continent. Outside the main entrance to the iconic KICC, security officers were in large numbers to ensure everything was in place, with everyone accessing the premises expected to have accreditation for the first ever African summit on climate change. With the various roads set to be closed during the event, City Hall Way was a no-go zone on Sunday afternoon, with various city roads including Harambe Avenue from Parliament around about to Taifa Road. City Hall Way Junction from Holy Family Basilica around about Taifa Road Junction are being just some of the roads that will be closed during the summit. President Nana Akufoado of Ghana, President Azali Asumani of Comoros and Evariste and Aishimi of Burundi are just some of the presidents who have jetted in for the summit. With Foreign Affairs CS Alfred Mutua noting that Kenya is one of the African countries on the forefront in battling climate change. With the security beefed up in the capital as at least 24 heads of state are expected to grace the event. A section of youth under Operation Lindo Getuzi are lamenting over the term as being blocked from attending the just concluded Youth Africa Climate Change. Nina, tashushi mingi sana. Kuanzia na ile Youth Assembly ambayo ilikuwa, tulipata kualikuwa lakini tulikosa hizo budgets, tukambiwa, hauwezi hudhuria. Sasa nina maswali mengi sana, si joe ni... Um, viongozi wa vijana wa gani ambao wameweza kuhudhuria hii hili hafla. Uh, pia kuna hii hafla ya jumuiya ya Afrika yote na sisi vijana tumeweza kunyimwa nafasi. Sasa hatujui tutaweza kwenda kwa nani tupate kusaidiwa kwa sababu tuna maoni, tuna maoiba, tuna muda tumepata kuja hapa Nairobi lakini hatuwezi hata kupatiwa kile cheti cha kuweza kutuwezesha kuhudhuria. Led by Kennedy Sankara the youth are blaming the Ministry of Environment under the stewardship of CS Suipan Tuya for the deliberate move to lock them out of the summit. We want to boldly and loudly condemn the deliberate confusion by the Ministry of Environment under the leadership of the Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Suipan Tuya, that come to the disappointment of the young youths and comrades delegates of the Climate Summit. As curtains fall on the Africa Youth Climate Assembly, security has been beefed up ahead of tomorrow's inaugural Africa Climate Summit, said to be attended by at least 24 heads of state, whose aim is to find solutions and action-oriented goals in a bid to curb climate change ahead of the COP28 Climate Summit in the United Arab Emirates in December. Ian Keitani, TV, Nairobi.